Right, factorise x squared minus 2x minus 24, and hence solve x squared minus 2x minus 24 equals 0. Now, here we, it says, as I said, factorise quadratics. It won't say in the exam, it won't say quadratic. You'll just see this. And when you see three terms, right, x squared and x and a, and a constant, right, or it could be y squared, y and a constant, any letter, when you see a squared and then a power 1 and a constant, you need to have two brackets, right? That's what's going to happen here. It's a quadratic. And what we do is then, because there's no number in front of that x squared, or there's one, isn't there? What you do is you have your two brackets, okay? And you write x in both, start of both brackets. And then, um, what we do then over here, right? We can do this little grid, multiply, add. Okay, what we need to do now is find two numbers to go here, right? And those two numbers must multiply to give this number at the end here, okay? This number at the end is minus 24. Okay, but the two numbers you choose also have to add up to give this number here minus 2. Okay, so let's just try and think of two numbers that multiply. Let's look at the multiplying bit first. And don't worry about minus, just concentrate on the 24. Let's think about two numbers that multiply to give 24. Well, 1 and 24, yeah, multiply to give 24. But can you get minus 2 from 1 and 24? No, you can't. You can't really add these to get minus 2. It's not going to work. Okay, so let's think of another option to get 24. 2 and 12. 2 times 12 gives me 24 when you multiply them. But can I get minus 2 from here? Can you add them to give me minus 2? No, you can't. 3. Um, 3 goes into 24. 3 times 8. Okay, but can I get minus 2 from there? No, you can't. Now, 4 and 6, of course. 4 and 6 works as well. That times to give minus 24. And here, you can actually get minus 2, can't you? You can get minus 2. If you make this a minus, okay, and this a plus, then when I put these together, plus 4, take away 6, adds up to give minus 2, okay? And then when I multiply them, of course, when you multiply them, it will multiply, won't it? Plus 4 times minus 6. Plus times a minus, it's a minus. And then 4 times 6 is 24. So we've got plus 4, minus 6. Okay, we factorize it and then it says hence solve that equals to zero so we put it equals to zero okay and then you've got to remember then these brackets are like numbers right they, they, they and they multiply together and brackets stuck together they multiply together and when you multiply two things together and it equals zero one of those numbers has to be zero okay think about it when you multiply two things together answer zero one of them has to be zero it doesn't matter which one just one of them so basically, this think of this as a, as a number here, as a term in itself. Either this could be zero, we say, okay? Or the other one equals zero. Which means then, x plus 4 is zero, so take the 4 over, it becomes a minus 4. Or minus 6 here, take that over, it becomes a plus 6. So those are my two answers.